welcome back to the channel. So I know I haven't made a video in a long time and I mean long. <laughs> But um, as you can see, we are in a new space. I don't know if you ever got to see this space last season, but midway through the season, after we moved into our last office, we outgrew it very quickly. But down the hall opened up this space, so now we are here. And it's a lot brighter in here. Hardwood floors, not having to deal with carpet, having to deal with threads all in the carpet. Um, and it's just a, a bigger and better space. So today what I thought I would do is show you how we start the season. And now is um, the perfect time because of everything that's going on in the world, we can start planning earlier and getting things out as soon as possible. So today we are going to work on a sketch. So I have set up a um, situation here. I'm hoping it's gonna work out for the best where you'll be able to see everything. Um, but we're going to start from getting the email back from the client with the information to moving to uh, kind of going into the sketch. So uh, let's move into that. So I think I'm gonna switch you up to the top camera and we're gonna be able to go from there. Actually, before that, we're gonna look at some of these images from the client and, and see what she's kind of talking about. So she's given me the name of the song that we're going to be using for um, this piece, and we're going to be working with a contemporary lyrical, and so she sent me a couple of images to go by and kind of see what she's actually wanting. This is going to just be a base. She's going to embellish herself, which, you know, those are fun for me because I don't have to sit and do all the rhinestoning, but um, still complicated because I'm still gonna have to make the actual base for them. Um, so I'm looking at some of the things that she's given me and some of the ideas that she has. I'm pulling together um, something that I kind of want, but trying to still go with what she's asking for. So um, she has said, I'm thinking along these lines, she wants something that wraps around the neck and then something that's flowy. I can, uh, it can be in the sleeve or, you know, strings or something hanging down. She's looking for a bluish gray color because it talks about an ocean in the beginning. Um, not a very sad song, but also not overly happy. Um, and she's looking for something that won't kill her to embellish, but um, honey, have you met me? <laughs> so I guess we'll see how this goes. But uh, Tracy and her daughter Ansley have been clients for mine for the past two seasons. So this will be her third year with me. So we'll be making something spectacular that I'm sure she's gonna love regardless, but okay. So now I'm gonna move you up to this camera up here. Hi guys. <laughs> and we are going to uh, start the sketch. So again, I am using the Adobe Sketch app. And everybody likes to ask me this over and over again, what app I'm using. Again, it's the Adobe Sketch app. So on here, it just looks like a little pencil and squiggle line. Um, and then I go into that app. I have several designs that I've had for like over the years um, since I started using my phone. I mean, sorry, my iPad. <clears throat> so. We're gonna open up a new sketch and we're gonna go to the iPad format and then we're gonna add in here an image layer. So in my iPad, I already have um, a set custom design form croquis that I use when I'm working with my clients. So this way they know exactly what's supposed to be on there. So I'm gonna save that as the image and this is what we're going to be drawing on top of. So again, I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm gonna be moving to a, a pencil here in a second. So um, I'm gonna to try to make it as dark as possible so y'all can see, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So um, I'm thinking of going with a two-piece situation for this. So let's just kind of flesh out the bottoms. I don't think I want to do a sleeve. I think I want to actually give her some sort of like flowy armband situation. I've seen a couple costumes that have this and um, I like the detailing that it has to it and it's flowy without being like a skirt or something. But I think I'm also going to add that on the top of her costume as well. So let's see what we get from there. So let's do Let's go ahead and do an, a halter. So we're gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're going to create this halter neckline here. And we'll do the same on the back. And the back will have a clasp here. Okay, uh, let's do a bra base. I think on the, mm, let's go on the front first. So on the front, we'll just have like a standard bra on the front and let's go let's go full halter here and again this is just like a basic shape I'm starting with um, I hope y'all can see these lines 
just to kind of get an idea of what I'm wanting to make. Um, I think I want to have this like sweetheart neckline situation happening here. And then from here, I'm also going to add some, um, some fullness. So if we can go, let's do this. So we're gonna have this kind of like flare out here and there'll be like a flared top there. I don't like the way that line looks. Let's go back. So on the iPad, you can double tap the pencil and it'll change from eraser to whatever your last tool was. If you can see like the little line that's jumping over here. But um, so now we're back onto the eraser, but we're gonna go back to the pencil that we've been using. Um, kind of draw that line again. So this is gonna be like a flared top in the front and then it'll elongate in the back here. Yeah, so <laughs> my sketches are not necessarily the absolute best, but it gets the idea across. So on the back here, I think I wanna go low. Oops. Again, we can just go and erase that. Low here in the back and then straight across here. And this will be in like a nude mesh, so we won't necessarily see that part of it. Um, let's see here, this is coming out this way, and this way, and then we're gonna connect this back here like so. Let's see here, we have a brief on. Okay, and I think I want the brief to be high-waisted instead of like a standard brief. So along the front lines, I think we're pretty much done. Um, on the arms, she'll have that same detailing, but I think I'm gonna take this off of the front so we can see that detail. So. And then armband here with that same flared detail. Oops, too thick. Also using the undo button up top instead of using the erasure if you just did one line. Sorry if I'm like sniffling. I've just had like terrible allergies during this time. So I'm gonna go back in with the eraser, kind of knock that line out because that wasn't, that was a little too short. Okay, so we have like a, a good little base going on here. Um, going back to our pencil. I think I want to add a little bit of detailing here. So what if we go, let's do, I did something kind of like this last year where it was like a, a mesh hip this way and then across here was like ruching. I'm like probably covering that up, but <laughs> y'all can't see. But just some like gathering that's happening across the hip here. Maybe not to that point, but maybe to like a more like a open like two inch situation down there leaving the back brief mm. yeah leaving the back brief just like plain so that the detailing's happening in the front here um let's see here yeah and then leaving the waistband open instead of having like a full waistband just using like an elastic into the waistband but keeping this open i like that okay so let's start to flesh this out with a color. So she talked about wanting to use a um, grayish blue color. So we're gonna go into my um, color card here and I use Blue Moon Fabrics out of California. 
And we're gonna look at some of these colors here. So she's talking about a grayish blue color. There's this fossil color that's kind of on the gray blue color. Um, coming over here into the greens, there's this like jean color that's kind of pretty. I think I actually really like that one. Um, yeah, let's see what they have in the power mesh family to see if there's anything that's like similar. Okay, they still have jean in here in the meshes, so I think I like that color. So let's go with that. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go into um, bluemoonfabrics.com. Oh cool, we're already gonna pull up on a, oh, the matte, matte spandex set section anyway. So we're gonna look for the jean color. That's blue star, here's jean. So we're gonna go and get that color. So here's the color, we're going to pick it up. This looks really dark on this image here. So I'll make sure to send the client like a, a better image of that, but we're going to hold on to that, pull up into the sketch app we were, and we're going to drop that image. And then we're going to press save. So let's see if there's any way we can like fix this where, no, okay. So I'll be sure to send her like an actual image of that color so she knows what it is, because this is a little darker than I think it's showing up in the color card. but. We're gonna use that there for so her, she can see what the fabric's supposed to look like. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start coloring now. So, oh look, now that I zoomed in, you can kind of see that a, lo a lot better. Okay, so this is kind of the base we're working with here and we're going to go in with some colors now. So we're gonna go into a separate layer, so a, a new layer now with the, so that we're not drawing on our actual sketch layer. I'm gonna move that away, okay. So let's go find our color or create our color if we don't find it. Um, I feel like it's that, but like a little bit lighter. So we're gonna go into the picker and lighten that up a bit and then add a little bit more darker blue into it. Still go a little bit lighter. There we go. I feel like that's truer to the color. So that's gonna be the color we're gonna use now. Okay, so um, we know that the brief down here will be solid. Oops, sorry. So you can change the like opacity of your actual line in that section there. So we're going to color this here. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so I'm a little bit more precise. Still more. It's just so messy right now. There we go, that's better. Okay, and then we'll just color this in real quick. Um, I'm like a neat freak, so I like to clean these up just a tad so they're not so splotchy and the lines look a little bit cleaner and crisper. There we go. Okay. Um, anything else is going to be blue. So this neck piece here, we're also going to make it blue. Okay. And then, so what's going to happen is underneath is also going to be blue. So let's actually, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this color. So we're gonna go into the paintbrush. I'm gonna take this color and we're going to lighten the opacity, make the paintbrush a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna hold on to this color. And when we do that, we're able to mouse over and kind of match it. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna paint this real quick. Okay, so now that that's painted, we're gonna dry it and then go back in here and clean up around that bra. The reason we're doing this is because if we just mark, uh, color it with a marker like we just did the briefs, when I go over to do the overlay, it will, oops, 
it will all be just super dark instead of you seeing that there's going to be a mesh overlay. So I guess you'll, you'll see that in one second. Just gonna clean this up around the bra. Okay, so we're going to move over to this side now. Oops, oh no, no. Zoom out, move over to the other side. Color this in with the blue. Okay, same thing with the briefs down here. So the briefs are, remember we just said they're gonna be solid on the back. And again, we're going around this mesh part because we're gonna need to do the exact same thing we did on the top to make sure we have that detailing correct. So you can see that there's an actual mesh overlay over it. Now I say this, I am not the best sketch artist. I, I do it to the ability to what I can see and like what I can get across and I can make sure my clients understand I'm doing so that we're, we're understanding this is not the most amazing sketch or illustration. I just, I'm just not an illustrator like that. Other people are and I, I am jealous of their abilities, but um, that ain't me. Okay, so we're gonna go in here like we did earlier with the, um, with this color. We're just gonna paint into that real quick and then we're going to dry it and then go in, ooh, no. Go in and erase that. Cool. So now when we go do the overlay, that'll get darker because there's an overlay over it. Okay. Um, any other pieces that we need to color right now? And I think we need to do the actual armbands here. So this will be blue. Okay. Great. All right. So that's what we're starting off with. So we're actually going to go into a second layer. Um, actually, nope, no, no, no. We need to stay on the same layer because underneath this mesh here is going to be blue. So we're going to do that same thing we did over on the other side. Okay, great. Let that dry. Ooh, and go and erase what we don't need. Okay, now we are ready to move on to the next part. So we are going to open up and get a new sketch layer, okay? We're gonna go back in with our paintbrush um, instead of the marker because we want that opacity happening. And then we're going to go ahead and paint over this same section. So this will need to be colored. Okay, and then um, all of this will need to be colored. Yep, ooh, and then we're going to go ahead and stop that. So because I'm painting with a paintbrush and it's a watercolor, if you press the fan, it dries up what it's doing because as you know with watercolors, they kind of blend and bleed together. So now we're going to go back and we're going to erase all the negative space. So that's the places that aren't necessarily going to be, um, or the places that aren't colored. Erase that real quick because we're gonna have to go back and fix that. So you can see there's like a little bit of darkness that's happening here. So that denotes that there is another layer underneath it there. So that's what I was talking about, how you wanna make sure that you kind of define that a bit more. So we're gonna go back over here into this um, hip piece here and do the exact same thing. So we're gonna color over it again. Ooh, too big. So because we're only doing a smaller bit of that, we're just gonna take the size of this down a bit and then go and color over it. Okay, great, dry it and then go and do the same thing we just did and erase all the negative space. Ooh, too much, too much. So 
So that's all of our blue section. So now we're gonna go back in and do um, the nude mesh section. So you see how we left this open here? Like it's not just like a open brief there. And then we left this open here. So both of these sections are going to be nude. So we're gonna go, and I'm gonna save this color because I actually do kind of like it. So we're gonna just add that to my color family. So it's now, oh, well, it should have been in my color library. Hold on, picker, add there, color saved. So now that color, if I wanna use it again in the future is there. Um, we're gonna go into my nudes. I have several nudes here, but let's use this one. No, it's a little peachy. Let's use that one. Okay, so I use the paintbrush to do this again. Um, I'm going to go into another layer so that if I need to make any adjustments, I can. I'm actually gonna take this layer though underneath all of my blue layers. Um, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color this in. Um, and then there's some here. And then there's uh, some here. Okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to erase the negative space like we've been doing. Okay. So now you can kind of see why I put it underneath there. Here, as you can see, there's like a nude band that's underneath there. Had I left that on top, that would have looked like that. So you see what I'm saying how that looks a little, a little off. I still want to kind of like erase some of this here because this is in a opaque color. So we want to make sure that, that that's clean so that that looks clean in the sketch. So we're going to put this back underneath all of our blues. Kind of clean that up a bit. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is a good point for our base. So um, I'm actually gonna add some detailing in here for her and for you guys, just so you can see how I typically would want someone to, uh, you know, utilize the way my brain is seeing the appliques happening. So I'm gonna go into my pin and I'm gonna select that same bluish color. Um, and I'm going to kind of use the appliques sparingly. So I think I want it to kind of like cross this chest, but then like maybe like trickle up into the neck a bit. And like for appliques, I don't like draw an actual applique. I may just like, you know, use some squiggles and that denotes an applique. Yeah. Um, I would also put some appliques across the hip here. Um, and then, yeah, that would be kind of where I would just drop that. And then, oop, I, I made a faux pas. I've already told y'all to, to make sure you do this, but every time you add something new, you want to make sure you add a layer. So I'm going to go back in and add a sketch layer. And then I'm going to draw in my appliques on that sketch layer instead of where I just did it a couple seconds ago. Um, so then that's where we had the, um, appliques before. Now we're going to go in, we're going to add another layer, um, sketch layer on this on top of this one, but same with those. Okay. And we're going to stick with the pen tool, but we're going to change the coloring a bit. Um, now we're going to be using rhinestones. So when I say rhinestones, rhinestones, um, we're gonna go into the colors again, try to find a stone color. This looks pretty good. So, um, the stones are actually underneath the under the overlay here. So we're just going to go in and we're gonna, those are kind of dark, hold on. Let's change this color up a bit. Um, let's see here. That. That looks good. Okay, so we're gonna take the stones and we're gonna go ahead and cover the entire chest with stones here. So that when the overlay lifts up, you see all those stones, but you'll still be able to see it underneath as well. So this whole chest will be completely covered. Yeah. So again, nothing too like crazy. I just put 
put some dots down. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna do the same. Uh, we're actually going to make these smaller so that we can denote. Oh, geez. The separation of these stones, but we're gonna stone the armbands. And we're gonna stone the neck. Same here. That's still really big. Let's go with a three. Oh, way too small. Way too small. Okay, we're gonna go with a six. Okay, that'll be stoned. That'll be stoned. Okay. Then going into the appliques, we'll stone on top of the appliques there. And like I said, this is all just so that you can get an idea, not necessarily of like, oh, this is exactly how she would stone it. But no, it's like there's stones on the appliques. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Yeah, and I think I actually would even go as far as um, stoning maybe the top of this. Mm. Do I like that? I don't think I like that. Let's, we're we're going to take that off. <laughs> but we are going to stone the hem of the top on, in the back, maybe? Or maybe even in the front. But just so it has some, like, sparkle as well. Maybe even some in the arm and mesh. Yeah. Okay. You can see. So I think we are we are done there with that one. So let's talk about what we did here. So. This is going to be the front of our costume and um, two pieces, flowy like she wanted, something around the neck, um, that grayish blue color that she was talking about, and it brings in a lot of the lines that she had in the image that she initially showed us. Um, ooh, don't draw on the sketch. We're going to move over into the back, so continuing that flowy situation, same thing with the armbands, clean back lines, um, keeping it simple but still sophisticated yeah so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna write our notes to the client so um, we are going to be using Jean gray blue Ooh, that is not how you spell gray gray blue lycra and mesh um, and then nude mesh, um, and then I would suggest similar color applique. Sorry guys, my camera died and I didn't realize that and then I fixed it and then I thought I <laughs> was recording again and I wasn't. So um, anyway, so we're going to suggest to the client to get um, a similar co color applique to what we're working with with the um, fabric and the costume. And then looking at the stones, we are going to be um, kind of seeing what we're what's going to work best with the color we've chose. So this year I am using um, Rhinestone Chic. They are a company out of Houston, Texas. They are friends of mine. And so um, you should go and support them. They they sell um, crystal stones, as well as um, Preciosa stones, as well as Swarovski stones. So um, yeah, go and check them out. I think you can find them on Facebook or Instagram or something. And I think they also have a website or it's about to be up or I don't know. But um, I know that they do have an, a Facebook group that you can join. So go ahead and check them out. And I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can find them. But anywho, so um, looking at these stones, because like I said, I've already done this before. 
and uh, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. But I think I'm going to go with the uh, Montana AB color, but actually, ooh, okay, maybe Sapphire AB. But I was also looking at um, this color here, which I believe was tur 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 <laughs> oh my god, which I believe is turquoise AB. Um, so I'm just gonna give her those options of any of those stones and she can choose from there. Uh, she may want something completely different. Like I said, she's doing this herself with the embellishing. I'm just doing the base costume. So stones, uh, suggestion. So I would use um, either turquoise, maybe. Sapphire AB or Montana AB. Any pick any. And then I would use, ooh, that's not how you spell use. <laughs> use 20s, 30s, and 40s would be my suggestion to her. So now we're going to go back over here and double check everything and make sure we are in, you know, love with what we have created for the client. And I, I think we're in a pretty, pretty good spot here. Um, so I'm going to send this off to the client and I'm going to have her approve it. And then, um, I guess since we made this with you guys, we will probably make this one together as well. So, um, hopefully in part two, we're going to be making this piece, but thank you guys for, um, joining me today. And, uh, I hope this helped a lot with people who had questions about how to make a sketch from scratch on the iPad app and, uh, good luck. Bye guys.